Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a great and I would say like a relaxing algebra question. We need to rate these three fours to the power of three fours. And a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, I can easily do this in a few seconds, we can easily rate this. But then I mentioned them, okay, what about these three fours? This is not a square, this is not a cube, like we, we prefer this like square, cube, fourth, fifth power, this is a fraction, three fours. So how can we work with this fraction? So you can easily write your suggestion down into the comment section, but because right now I'm going to I'm going to solve it. First of all, we need to know a really great uh, property. It's not like a property, this is a really great uh, rule. When we have a to the power uh, x over y, we can easily write it as a to the power x, and right here we have y root, okay? So this y indicates the power of root. We can easily rewrite it in both ways, from here to here, from right to left, we can easily rewrite it in terms of fraction, in terms of in terms of root, we can easily mm, do from bo to both ways. And here is a quick example, for example, we have like a to the power one third, we can easily write it as cubes root of a to the power one. Okay, so this three indicates the power of uh, the power of root. Okay, and right now let's look closely at our question. Exactly what a question? What do we have right here? So we have three fourths to the power three fourths. According to this property, according to this rule or this one, this y, this expression in our denominator, this is a power of root. And in our case, we have four in our denominator, so we are talking about fourth root, okay, of this three fourths to the power three, okay, three fourths to the power three. And I'm going to solve, the, solve this question step by step because maybe a lot of students watch my videos. I'm going to solve it step by step. First of all, we need to know a really great rule. We're going to simplify this expression inside our, our square root. So when we have a over b, when we raise all of this to the power n, we are talking about a to the power n, we can easily split it, yeah, over b to the power n. And let's apply this rule right here, inside our uh, inside our uh, square root sign. So we are talking about fourth root, okay? And right now we're going to apply this property. We're talking about three cube over four cube, okay? Three cube over four cube. So I hope you understand this step. After this property, we're talking about three cube over over four cube. Right now, what are we going to do? First of all, let's uh, multiply this three times three times three. So let's write this three to the third power. So we will have like fourth root of three times three times three, and we're going to divide it by four times four and times four. And of course, we can easily write it in another interpretation. We can easily write it as three times three times three equal to 27. Yeah, we, can, we can't do this. We don't need to do this, but maybe if someone interested, maybe someone can easily simplify this in terms of this product. So this is up to you. But right now, let's multiply it. We have 27 over uh, 64. All right, 27 over 64. Right now, the second really important property, we're going to split our square root, because when we have our nth root of a over b, we are talking about nth root of a over nth root of b. So we can easily split our numerator and denominator. So we can consider this one as a fourth root of 27, all right, fourth root of 27, over fourth root of 64. All right. So I hope you I hope you understand this step. Right now, let's look closely. Fourth root of twenty seven, we can't find it. It's it, it's really hard. But fourth root of sixty four, we can't we can find it. Okay, so we can easily uh, express this sixty four as as uh, sixteen times four, something like that. So let's do this right now. So let's look at our in our denominator. So in numerator, we have fourth root of twenty seven, and in our denominator, instead of this instead of this sixty four, let's write four times 16, okay? Or 16 times 4 doesn't matter. Right now, 16, this is our 2 to the 4th power, yes? We are talking about 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, right here we have we have 16, yeah? And this is our 2 to the 4th power. So instead of this 16, let's write this to 2 to the 4th power. So let's do this right now. So we have 4th root of 27 in our numerator, and we're going to divide it by 4th root, of 2 to the 4th power times 4, okay, times 4. Really great. Right now, let's split it. In terms of this, uh, we don't have this property, we have a property in terms of like fraction, but we are talking about multiplication. For example, if you're talking about multiplication, when we have nth root of a times b, we're going to split it as nth root of a times nth root 
of b. Okay, this is the same rule as uh, division. Yeah, so we have a fraction, we have multiplication, absolutely the same thing. We can easily split it. And let's split this expression in other in other denominator. Let's do this right now. So we have fourth root of 27 over fourth root of 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 4 times fourth root, fourth root of 4. Really great. Right now, let's look closely what do we have right here. Fourth root of 2 to the power 4. When we have the same power of root and we have the same power, so we can easily mm, rewrite this fourth root of 2 to the power 4. We can easily rewrite it as 2 to the power 4 over 4, which is equal to which is equal to 2. All right, so we can easily cancel these 4 and these 4, these 4 and these 4. So as a result, here we have only, only 2. So let's do this, let's rewrite it. So we have fourth root of 27 over, right here we have 2, yeah, we have 2, times fourth root, fourth root of 4. Right now, let's simplify this once more. We can easily uh, write this 2, if I write this 4 as 2 square, okay? So let's do this right now. We can easily write this, this uh, 4 as 2 square, all right? So let's do this. So we have fourth root of 27 over 2 times fourth root of 2 to the power 2. And right now, let's write this fourth root of 2 to the power 2 in a reverse way, okay? Let's write it as a fraction, so something like that. In terms of not like a, a square root or cubes root, it, let's write it in terms of power with a fraction, okay? So we can also write it as 2 to the power 2 over 4, all right? So we will have like mm, cube, fourth root of 27 over 2 times 2 to the power 2 over over 4. And right now, 2 to the power 2 over 4, this is 2 to the power 1 half. We can easily divide it by 2. So we have 4th root of 27 over 2 times 2 to the power 1 half. But uh, 1 half, this is all known power. This is our uh, square root, all right? So we are talking about 4th root of 27 over 2 times square root of 2. So because 1 half, this is our square root. And maybe you're interested in uh, like um, a numerator. We can easily simplify the numerator. We can write this 27 as 3 cube, right? So we can easily write it as 4th root of 3 cube, and we divide it by 2 square root of 2, and in the same way, let's rewrite our uh, numerator. So 3 to the power 3 fourths, not in terms of like fourth root, yeah? We can easily write it as 3 to the power 3 fourths, 3 fourths, over 2 square root of 2. And this is, looks like our answer, but I'm going to show you an alternative way. How can we simplify this a little bit? This is our answer, yeah, I, I agree with it. But we can write alternative way, so let's do this, so alter, alternate way, okay, alternate alternate form, let's call it like that, so alternate form. We have square root in our, in our denominator, so when we have this expression 3 to the power 3 fourths, when we, when we have uh, over 2 square root of 2, when we, when we have a square root in our denominator, we can easily multiply our denominator by 2 and our numerator by 2, all right? So this expression, so square root of 2 over square root of 2, uh, times square root of 2 equal to equal to 2, so 2 times 2 equal to 4, so in our, in our denominator we have 4, and we have our expression in our numerator, so we can't simplify it, so square root of 2 times this 3 to the power 3 fourths, or we can easily write this 1 fourth, uh, so we can easily write it behind this parentheses, and inside parentheses we write this, this expression, so square root of 2 times 3 to the power 3 fourths of two ways. I prefer this one. This is like more accurate uh, for us. This one is uh, also, this is up to you. Maybe you, you uh, need to solve this question in your test and you have this question, your this option, and of course you need to remove the irrationality, you need to multiply numerator and denominator uh, and denominator by two. And so let's write our, our final answer to this question. So our answer, our answer, we are talking about two interpretations. So we are talking about 3 fourths to the power 3 fourths. We are talking about two interpretations. This is up to you. What do you think? The first one, we are talking about this. 3 to the power 3 fourths over 2 square root of 2. And we have the second one. We have the second one, this one, 1 fourth. I don't like the second one, but this, uh, this is up to you. Maybe you, you need this one in your test. So we have 1 fourth times square root of 2 times 3 to the power 3, 3 fourths. And from here, you can easily... Mm, 
find uh, your answer in your calculator, maybe someone interested in this, approximately equal to 0 0.8006. This is like from from a calculator. You can easily uh, find this uh, in your in your calculator. Of course, you can find this one, but but there are a lot of questions when you need to simplify this, when you need to raise to the power three fourths, and this is two two answers to your to your question. This is approximately approximately answer. Maybe someone interested in this. This is like approximately answer to this to this question. So two interpretation. The first one an alternate form right here. So uh, first and second. And this is our question. This is our approximately answer. So I really hope you you understand my explanation. I really hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel. So I really hope you will enjoy it. And thank you for your time. Also, I want to see your question. Uh, if you uh, were still have question with this type of question this is my like second video on my youtube channel about this type of question so i really hope you learned it i hope you i really hope you learned something new this is my main goal on my youtube channel so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your life thank you everyone for your support for your likes for your dislikes for your kind comments i really appreciate it write your notes down into the comment section what do you want to see on my youtube channel i really appreciate it so thank you everyone for your time wish you all the best in your math adventures see you in the next videos